Hello, back again. Just a quick video showing you how to install Adblock on a router running OpenWRT. It works in the same way as Pi-hole, where you use uh, block lists, but I must admit Pi-hole has the better GUI. So uh, let's get on with installing uh, Adblock. Right, first thing I'm going to do is log into my router. Just type in the password and then log in. And then we want to go to system and software. And then we want to update lists. Only takes a few seconds to do. And then just scroll down and dismiss. First thing you want to do is either type it in or search for Adblock. I'm just going to copy it and then paste it into filter. Paste, then click enter on your keyboard. So first I'm going to install Adblock and then we need to install Lucy App Adblock. So I'm going to click install on the first one. And then install again. And then dismiss. Now on the Lucy app, add block. Going to click install again. And then install. And then dismiss. Now we need this third one to download the uh, block lists. So I've installed Adblock and I've installed Lucy App, and then we need this one for the lists. So I'm going to copy it, paste it in again, hit enter on my keyboard, then I'm going to click install, install again. And then dismiss. Right, that part's done. Now for DNS report to work, we need the TCP dump mini. So I'm just going to copy that. Paste it into filter again. Then enter. And then install. Install again. And then dismiss. Right, that's everything installed. Just going to clear that. Right, I'm just going to go back to overview and then do a refresh. Because sometimes uh, services don't turn up or don't show up. But now we've got Adblock. Just going to click on it. When you start it for the first time, you'll most probably see error under status. And you'll see no domains are being blocked. So the thing you want to do is click refresh. Give it a few seconds. It started running. As you can see now it's enabled and domains being blocked are 42,000. I'll just scroll down. You should see enabled already ticked. Plus I click false local DNS. That's so Android devices can't override the DNS you've set. So you want to tick that one. And plus you want to tick DNS report so you can uh, see what's being uh, blacklisted and whitelisted via your lists. 
So I'm just going to click save and apply. Just let it update. Right under settings, you will find your blacklist sources. There are a few enabled by default. I'm just going to click here. You can add as many as you want, but you don't want to add too many. It all depends how much uh, memory your router has. So I'm just going to add a few more. Just add a couple more. comes with a YouTube block list but I must admit it doesn't work that well but it's up to you if you want to try it I'll just tick it then you want to click save and apply now you just want to give it a few seconds to update and as you can see active sources there's a few more added now And that's all done now. As you can see, I've got block domains are 335,000. That's domains being blocked. I'll just show you DNS report now. It may take about five or 10 minutes to update, but when you first load it, you want to click refresh. And then refresh again. And you'll get your top 10 of domains being blocked and you'll get your latest DNS requests and on the right hand side you can whitelist or blacklist if you need to change anything I just scroll back up on the top here you've got edit blacklists so you can add or remove anything you want to and you've got the same for whitelists if you want to add anything or remove anything so I'll just go back to overview so that's uh Add block all set up on a router running OpenWRT. So as always, uh, I hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.